Musichana akitoka hapa, akienda Saudi Arabia, anafaa kulipo 32,000. Kwa hivyo huyu musichana akikutumia 70,000, unafaa kumulize huyu pesa umetoa wapi. Ujue huyo ametoroka, hako inje. She is illegal immigrants. Afanyi kazi huko, ayuko wada serikali. Na uki, uki tuulize ni, tuambie ni, hii maneno tunaijua. Eh? Mm -hmm. Wasichana wengi wamekufia huko wakifanya abortion. Eh? Na sasa shida tuludia tu serikali. Now I can swear before God, Saudi is one of the best countries in the world. Mm. I can swear God, yes. it is one of the best countries in the world because Sharia Saudi Arabia is 100 plus 1 percent, straight EV. Mm. But Kenyans, we are not used of that. Mm. And I want you media people to ask me a question, why do Kenya ladies die in Saudi Arabia? A simple question, I'll answer you yes. right away. Why do Kenyans ladies die in Saudi Arabia? Tell us. I want to ask you a question before I answer the question. Why do a number of girls is higher than gents? Wanaume namba yao ni iko chini kuliko ya wanaume ya wanawake. Hamjawahi jiuliza hivi. Kwa nini hii inchi ya Kenya iko na serikali na inasafirisha tunasafirisha wasichana huko wasichana wanasafirishwa Saudi Arabia each and every year. Tunasafirisha wasichana. Hii inchi iko under UN. UN inajua tunasafirisha wasichana na inajua wasichana wanakufia huko. Why kwa nini serikali haisimamishi? Kwa nini UN haisimamishi? Because they have done their diligent yao na tukapatana na sisi huko. Tukawaulizwa kwa nini wasichana wanakufa? Tulikaa chini na wao, tukakaa chini na Senate, tukakaa chini na Minister of Labor huko, tukakaa chini na Embassy na tukawaelezea kiini cha sababu ya wasichana kufa. Wasichana wakitoka hapa, wakifika huko wanaendaka na simu kama hii, simu ya mtandao. Wakifika huko naingia kwa groups za Kenya working in Saudi. Yes. Kwa mfano ni wewe, una msichana ambaye ametoka kwenye kidhurai ama palikopote ama kijana. Mnapatana kwa mtandao. Mm. Anakuiba kutoka kwa ile nyumba umeenda. Ile nyumba umeenda unapewa 36000 eh, Kenya shillings. Anakuambia huko nje utapata eh, 72000. Na ni kweli unapata hiyo pesa. But document na mambo zote unaziwacha kwa hiyo nyumba. Ukitoka nje unakutana na wanaume. Si Waarabu wanaume wa Kenya. Sisi mm. Ndiyo tunawapachika hawa sichana miimba. It's not a secret. Sababu msichana ni wetu, ni wakwetu. Tunapata urafiki. In Saudi Arabia there is no shortcut kwa sheria. Hii dawa za kupanga uzazi, it is prohibited 100 plus 1. Protection hakuna. Ukipata miimba, wewe ni it's up to you. Na lazima matu, tuendeleza hiyo maneno. And I'm sorry to, to say this in front of media. Ukipata na mwanaume huko, mkifanya usharati na yeye, upate miimba, it is up to you. Uwezi pata mtoto kwa hospitali without documents na huwezi toa mimba so dakika ya mwisho huyo msichana ana decide kutoa hiyo mimba yes. uki decide kutoa hiyo mimba i want to give me to give you three i want to give you three samples msichana huyu pengine hajawahi za hapa kenya ni maana ya kwanza kwenda huko na ni maana ya kwanza yake ya kwanza kupata mimba akipata mimba akiwa ni maana yake ya kwanza anaambiwa atoe hiyo mimba na, na miezi ine i want to ask you will she survive Four months pregnancy. Oh, she will not survive. She will die. Unashika? Number two. Unakuta huyo mzijana hapa Kenya, hamepata mimba, na yeye hamefanya CS hapa. Mana ya kwanza hamepata watatuwa vili na njia ya CS. Anaambia skume mimba ya miezi ine. Itatoka? She will die. Number three. Hamepata mimba hapa, huko, na hameza hapa watatuwa vili na njia nomo. Hakifika huko, hakipata mimba, anaambia tuwe hii mimba ya miezi ine. Ata saksidi kutuwa hiyo mimba, lakini parasenta itabagi kwa tumbo. Uyo msijana nakufa. Once more na hituwa, mimi ndio nilikuwa controller. I was controlling 144,000 Kenyans with this Facebook, including Moses Kuria. The current yes, we ambaya meche uliwa juzi. He was under my control. He's a witness of that. Many Kenyans here know that. Wala wameenda Saudi Arabia. I was controlling 144,000 Kenyans na Facebook. So... Ninapigiwa simu, napeo picha ya msichana, napeo tarifa, ametoka munanga, ametoka kangema, ametoka wapi popote, naweka kwa Facebook. Kiini kia, kia msichana kufa hatuweki kwa Facebook. Kwa nini? Manake ya litoroka kule ya litoroka, ako inje, muajiri hamshuguliki, simu arabu alimpachika mimba, na si shuguli yake kupereka hiyo mimba, maiti nyumbani. Kenyans, na you know Kenyans, we don't throw our dead. Waki, akifa wa Kenya lazima tushugulike, maiti lazima pereka kwa nyumbani. Dakika ya mwisho, hatuta andika kiini cha msichana kufa, Ndiyo pesa zichangwa na wa Kenya, tusafirishe maiti. Tukizungumza na wazazi wake hapa, hatuta mwambia kiini cha msiana kufa. Tuta mwambia ni hybrid pressure, mambo zingine, sababu kuna mambo zingine zinaibu kuingia kwa masikia wazazi. 
wazazi wakisikia msichana wao amekufa wanaita media media ikifika KICC Jomo Kenyatta International another one from Saudi there is no report uh, yeah. mm. uh, there is no report hakuna report tunapeanaga because ina aibu yeah. ni report ina aibu but i'm telling you the best country in the world ni Saudi Arabia you cannot believe it yeah. you cannot believe it yeah. mahali unakaa na sheria na sheria unaperekana nayo vile unasahili yeah. you cannot go beyond that sheria to fanywe nini So that's why people want to pick up Sharia, want to pick up Saudi Arabia, and Saudi Arabia doesn't have anything to do with the girls. Why only Kenyans? Who can know what to the bugger of the duniani? Why only Kenyans be careful? Because the biyazi tu, the wasiyana we tu, zimekeuka Sharia. Unafikiria Sharia ya Kenya itenda kufanya kazi inchingi? It's a lie. It's a lie. It can't. It can't. That's a Muslim country, and they have to protect. And also, Kenyans and Kenyans girls before they live here, they should know 95% of the constitution of Saudi Arabia is not in the Quran, and there is no shortcut, no matter what. 95%. I'm not a Muslim. I'm a Christian, and I know that. 95% of Sharia ya Saudi is not in the Quran. Now, I believe that even a, 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 a point here, I believe that. But the Kenyans want to take over to Badilisha. It can't work. It can't. So you should know. I want to make a program with one of the media services pole pole nikiwa kuna haraka niwaelezee kwa kini ndio wasiana wakitoka hapa wajua akitoka hapa wanaenda wakifanya nini wanaenda kufanya kazi ama wanaenda kufanya mambo zile tunafanyaga hapa kwetu hapa kwetu we have all the freedoms hata mtu anatoka mimba ine na there is no problem no no way you will be taken huko jaribu kutoa mimba moja my friend you are a killer yeah, yeah. i have a lot mimi kutoka niende huko nimesafirisha wasiana 16 maiti nimesafirisha wamepokelewa hapa na vijana watatu ask yourself why hao vijana watatu wawili ni accident mmoja alianguka kwa swimming pool he's a witness of that and many girls here ambao tumefanya kazi nao huko sasa nashindwa why kenyans we don't ask ourselves why media doesn't ask herself kwa nini namba ya wasiana iko juu kuliko ya wanaume mm. eh hey, kwa nini sisi hatufuati wanaume wakufi mm. eh hey, na wako huko kwa nini wasiana peke yao ndio wanakufa mm. maana yake hawawezi zuia joto mm. joto ya kiume hawezi zuia hazui naona na hapa amezoea na si makosa yake ni kawaida ni kawaida hapa Kenya we are free to do everything but hapo funga mbwa yako mahali iko thank you very much yeah. okay. a few questions i think okay uh, afternoon eh uh, uh, media umekuja nazitumia karibisha asante sana eh uh, hii kitu mkiona na cheka <laughs> ni kitu rahisi sana very simple for me i've been working in saudi arabia for 10 years so i know from a to z about saudi na hii mambo inakuja kuambiwa ya kwamba Mwarabu anatesa Mwarabu anafanya nini Actually you need to do investigation first before you do anything bad Saudi nikienda huko I was a house boy I was a house boy and then I was promoted to be a house driver From a house driver nikarudi Kenya Mnajua kuna kampuni inaitwa Almarai Almarai is the world integrated dairy company imeajili wa Kenya wengi sana kuna maveterinaries kuna mavet masini officers wako huko wanafanya kazi and they are earning a lot so hii kitu ya mateso ya Saudi inaweza malizika the president ama the parliamentary group walifanya kitu inaitwa safe houses safe houses ndio tu itasaidia hii maneno ishe safe house ya kwanza ikuwe jida from jida ingine ikuwe damamu from damamu ingine iweko hail from hail ingine iweko sakaka aljuof eh kamsimsheti jizan huko chini kabisa okay maka madina mstana akitoka huku kenya akienda saudi asiende kwa muarabu asiende kwa agent anafaa kwanza embassy ya saudi wanakaa tu chini hakuna kitu wanafanya they are doing nothing mstana akitoka hapa anafaa kuingia kwa embassy kwanza ana report na anaandikwa amefika kutoka hapo anajulikana unaenda wapi nafaa kuenda madina kuna safe house iko madina and that is what filipino do safe house yenye iko madina wanampokea msichana kwa hivyo mwarabu atamuendea wapi atamuendea kwa safe house huyo mwarabu atajua hao watu he is or she is totally protected okay so kutoka hapo msichana akiwa na shida anafaa kupigia safe house simu akipigia safe house simu na uh, safe house inaenda mpaka huko ndani wanaenda kujua ni nini inaendelea let me tell you saudi is not a kitchen atutaangalia hivi na uangalie hivi na uangalie saudi is like east africa na tuongezee south sudan ni kubwa sana so embassy haiwezi 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 kugulikia watu wote na ndio maana tunahitaji safe houses and the agencies who are here 
watashikana na serikali hizi chukua watu watikutoka na huko nje eh deni mchukue watu wenye wameenda huko eh yeah. mtu mwenye anajua he msichana ukisikia msichana ameteswa ama msichana amepiga ame simu they must it must be serious msichana anaweza enda kaa kwa nyumba ya muarabu for two years na mtu asijue kama kuna msichana ako huko the other thing nataka kuambia agents wako hapa take any call from a girl as a distress call hata kama ni salamu Muda msichana akitoka hapa akifika huko anaambiwa shagara ajui shagara ni nini tari ajui ni nini unajua warabu wanaongeanga na so msichana anasema haki ya Mungu niliambiwa nimekuja kuteswa na nimeanza kuteswa kubwa alikuwa anaitwa eh hizi shule wanaenda kusomeshwa kizungu warabu ajui kizungu eh warabu wanakuambianga salali kama no kama ajui na sasa hiyo wanaenda shule kufunzwa kizungu mtafute wasichana wame, wenye wametoka huko Saudi na wanajua Kiarabu ndio at least msichana akienda huko anaambiwa salama raiku hiyo ni salamu shai ni shai sufura ni mahali pa kukulia tal ni kukuja wagif ni kusimama vitu kama hizo anajua ndio maana akiitwa pale tal shagara anajua ni kuitwa naitwa shagara ni msichana wa kazi unaona so huyu msichana wakati amepiga simu haijashikwa na the agent ako Kenya atasema mimi nimeanza sasa kuteswa labda msichana alikuwa na adarai ni elements adarai ni elements ni nini labda alikuwa na pressure ilikuwa inataka kumuingia akiwa Kenya wakati mwa, eh, mama ama agent amekosa kushika simu ya huyo msichana msichana sasa hiyo maneno inaanza kwenda juu damu yake inaanza kupanda atakufa na sio mwarabu amemua hapana ni makosa huku Kenya imepigwa simu hakushika na niambie wa, wazazi kuna kitu moja nataka niwaambie Msichana akitoka hapa akienda Saudi Arabia anafaa kulipo 32000. Kwa hivyo huyu msichana akikutumia 70000 unafaa kumuuliza huyu pesa umetoa wapi. Ujue huyo ametoroka ako nje. She is illegal immigrant. Afanyi kazi huko hayuko wada serikali. Na ukitulizeni uki, tuambieni hii maneno tunaijua. Eh? Mm. Wasichana wengi wamekufia huko wakifanya abortion. Eh? Na sasa shida turudie tu serikali. Msichana alitoroka kwa nini? Mshahara iko chini. Yeah. Filipino wanalipwa 1500. Ongezeni hao wasichana pesa hawatatoroka. Eh? Wengine wakitoka hapa wanakuanga na connection. Msichana ako huko Saudi Arabia anaitwa Darara. Anamwambia fanya hivi, we ukifika tu airport nitakuwa nimekugoja. Imagine huyo msichana hata haidagi kwa Mwarabu anaibiwa na huyu msichana Mkenya. Anaenda anapeleka mahali kunaitwa ya mama, kuna mahali kunaitwa Jaradia, Manfuha, Kubru Manfuha. Huko sasa ndio wasichana wako huko wamerent manyumba zao. Wengine hata ni matenant. Eh? actually watu wengi hata walikuwa matenants eh? unaona so ile kazi iko huko ni mbaya na ni mbovu so kusema ati kufungwe sasa ndio mmemaliza kabisa kwa sababu gani mwarabu akisikia kumefungwa alikuwa ame create agreement na agent ako Kenya hiyo sasa agreement imeisha what will happen msichana atapigia agent simu juu si agent wote watu wakosagi kushika simu the, the other guy Tom Ruthe have said there are almost 200000 Kenya ladies who are working there almost 0.001 they wana teta so akipiga simu msichana ata, agent atamwambia wacha nijaribu na ule mwarabu lakini tu agreement ilisha hata teswa ama atateswa atateswa so the only thing na naweza omba parliament ni kwamba tutafuteni sisi wenye tumeenda huko tuwakalishe chini tuambie Saudi one thing is not a kitchen the way you are thinking Saudi inataka hii na hii mikakati na mkiweka safe houses kalas kila kitu inaisha Wasichana wenu mtakuwa mnasikia wanaenda wanaenda wanaenda. Na mjue kuna mavijana wengine wanafanya kazi huko, they are managers. Eh? Kuna wasichana bado wako huko wanafanya hospitali. Eh? Wengine wanafanya masalonist. Eh? Wengine wanafanya caregiving. Eh? Unaona? So hii kitu ni kitu kidogo sana. Ndio maana nilicheka nikianza. Na ni kitu inaweza kuwa solved with immediate effect. Kama ni president unataka kuwa point the ambassador usienda huko uwatafuta mtu atini professor ama nani tafuta mama mwenye ashawa yenda huko anajua mashida za huko okay aende huko angalie wacha kutafuta tafuta mama mwenye ameenda huko na anajua kama ni safe houses tafuta wenye wameenda huko wanajua yeah? lakini sasa ukienda utafute ama uwa point anybody there he don't know he don't care eh yeah? na sikitikika sana kuona eh, Francis Atwori amesema ati hiyo ati msichana ananyosha ubwa kitu ya kwanza ni kuomba Saudi hakudanga ubwa Mwarambu hafugagi ubwa inaitangwa kerb na hiyo ni haram ni kama kusema kufunga e, gruwe Mwarambu hafugagi ubwa so e, anafaa sijui venye atafanya ama sijui kama ataapologize 
eh, kwa wa Kenya kwa sababu imeshtua watu wengi sana mm. and it was from pound site mm. na kitu ya kitu ya kwanza mambo kama hiyo watu wa Mindia kambula iende kwa media ama ikuwe aired ulizia ni kwanza what is happening so i say thank you so much na i hope the government itajaribu kulectify and we are very much free we are very much there mukitaka kutuita uh, tuwapatie advice venye kuko ama venye mutafanya we are there and we are very many people here thank you and even once more this guy have been working there for almost 20 years 20 years he have been there he was a trailer driver eh?